All right, so I got an unopened beer bottle and an old rusty railroad spike. We're gonna try to clean this up and turn it into a bottle opener. Um, it's Friday and I'm not gonna be able to open that beer until I get this finished, so let's get started. I got an angle grinder with a quarter inch grinding wheel on it. You could probably use a cutoff wheel, um, whatever you really have. Uh, you just don't want it to be much larger than a quarter inch. What you're gonna do is pretty much lay it flat and kind of grind into the head right here. All right, so we switched to a cutoff wheel. I think it'll be a little bit better. Uh, I'll be able to actually shape it like I want it to. So uh, here we go. If you can see that, I'm kind of shaping that into a groove that kind of arcs around there. Um, and what's going to happen is I take the beer bottle and I just set this on top. And then that little notch there at the bottom of that groove, just gonna rest in there and pop just the edge of that bottle top right off. So that's the plan. I got a little bit more shaping to do, but it's coming out. All right, so that's kind of the contour I'm looking for, just kind of rounded, um, but it's, you know, it's grindings right now, so it's pretty rough. Uh, I'm gonna take a round file and just touch it up now, and right at the notch that's gonna do all the work and actually pop it off, um, I couldn't get a very good undercut on it because how of how straight the uh, cutoff wheel is um, so I'm probably going to try to file a little bit of an undercut so that it actually reaches around the lip of the bottle or the cap and pries the cap off All right, so uh, I filed it down, and you can see it's a lot smoother on the inside of there, and the groove is more arced and I think looks quite a bit better. I wasn't able to get in a real good undercut on that lip, but uh, let's take a look how it fits. If we put the bottle in there, it fits in there pretty good, and it looks like it's going to pry the right way, so um, I think that works. I think that's going to going to be fine. Um, and now the next step is to just polish this up however I want it. All right. So first things first, I'm going to uh, take the wire wheel and get all that surface rust off of there. See how that looks at first. Um, so here goes. If you can see, the wire wheel doesn't really take off the rust all that well. It polished it up, but the rust is still underneath. So if I want that rust gone, I gotta do something a little bit different. All right, so uh, what I figured out was I was just using 60 grit sandpaper and sanding it like this. 
sanding it like that, um, this is the look I was going for. You got all the high spots are shiny and then all the pits are, are kind of dark and uh, still rust in there, but they'll turn really dark black, which gives it com almost a, like a wrought iron or a, a forged look to it. And that's really what I was looking for. So I've been just using this 60 grit sandpaper and, and going after it a little bit. Um, this only took me about five minutes. So I'm going to do this a little bit more, flip and keep going. Um, what I really would need is a like a flap wheel with sandpaper on it. Uh, that would work great, but I don't have it. And that beer is still calling my name tonight. So I'm not going to get one right now. I'm just going to tough it out and do it the old fashioned way. All right, so uh, I hit all the sides with the sandpaper, and I like how it looks. Um, there's the high spots are shiny, and the low spots are pitted and dark. Um, and then I also took the wire wheel to it one last time because there was some uh, some just like rust dust getting in the pits, and I just cleaned that out. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is just take 150 grit and sand it up a little bit more. Uh, get some of those deep grooves out from the sandpaper. Um, this shouldn't take more than a couple minutes. All right, so that's sanded to 150. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but uh, it did polish up the the shiny parts quite a bit. Um, took some of the streaking out of it and just polished it up. Last thing I'm going to do um, is take some steel wool. It's just kind of a medium coarseness and uh, I have some butcher's block oil you can use any oil really but dip some of that into um, the oil <clears throat> and then just kind of rub it in and polish that just a little bit also while you're doing it while you're rubbing that oil in you're just polishing just a little bit more. All right, so I have a rag somewhere. Here's a rag. Just swipe off the wipe off the excess. And there we have it. That's the finished product. So we'll see how it works. So basically uh, we're just taking that lip, hooking it around, and then nice and easy popping the top off. So there's that beer that I've been waiting for. So, fun little project. Um, maybe if you get a flap wheel, it'd take a little bit less time than it took me. But uh, I think it's cool. It looks good. It's pretty sturdy. It feels heavy in your hand. It feels um, feels good. So, if you want to go ahead and make one, make one. Um, check out my other stuff. I got all kinds of videos like this. That's about it. Thanks for watching.